Aloha, all Paper Mario guy here, and uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to stick this in, it, whether it's at the beginning of an episode, in the middle of an episode, at the end of the episode, but uh, I'm kind of recording a little bit ahead of time, and I am going to be uh, uh, getting the Ultra Boots right now, um, uh, because it is necessary for a particular thing that I want to do before I kind of progress the story, so this is going to seem quite weird and kind of out of order, but... Uh, what you want to do is you want to take sushi, and you want to walk, uh, or you want to, you know, swim over that little area, and, uh, when you do that, uh, you're gonna come over here, where you will find these dark koopas. Uh, try to dodge them, you know, because dark koopas are, you know, annoying as shit. Um, and you can only get the ultra boots after you have, uh, obtained lackluster so that you can go over these spikes. Go over the spikes, and in this pipe, you will be transported to a new area, and in this particular area, this is where you're going to be fighting, uh, you know, you'll fight some spinies and stuff like that, which are pretty easy to dodge, and, um, you need to make your way to the left, hop over, um, we'll see what's in here. There's another thing over here, which is a Volt Shroom. We're going to throw away the Volt Shroom, because we don't need it. And we're going to break that block, go through here, and as you can see, there's some blocks that we really just cannot see. And there's an Ultra Block, so we need the Ultra Hammer to uh, knock, hit that spring, come over here. And over here on this spring, you can notice that there is a treasure chest. And in that treasure chest, you got the Ultra Boots. The attack power of Mario's jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in, mid in the air. So basically what that does is you jump, you, you jump and jump again. And you go a little bit higher, so it's kind of like a double jump. And that will allow you to hit, you know, high blocks and stuff like that. And I'm just going to check with Watt real quick to make sure that we're not missing anything. And that will allow you to get, you know, some pretty good items and stuff like that. So the real item that we're going to be looking for, even though we have to face this stupid-ass uh, Koopa Regiment thing, we're going to use Star Storm and get rid of them because we don't really want to fight them. But use your Ultra Boots, you can check all the blocks in there. Most of them are just coins or otherwise pretty forgettable items that really aren't too good. Um, but I'm sure in that middle one there's going to be some sort of a decent item. Uh, though I do not know what it is off the top of my head. We'll find out very shortly though. Um, but I mean, it would have been pretty easy to figure out. Uh, considering, you know, the fact that it's like... The only one, like, you know, there's a spot in between, and I said that if you have a spot in between, then you should, you know, get get it. Okay, so we have two life shrooms now, but we don't actually need two life shrooms, so we're going to ditch the other one, as, you know, foolish as that may seem. We really don't need a second life shroom. Um, I come out here, and, uh... Uh, the Ultra Brutes are required to move on to the next area in Chapter 7, so more than likely, uh, I'll probably just stick this, you know, before we move on to Chapter 7 or something. But I definitely wanted to show that off, and it's kind of necessary, uh, and you'll, you'll know why, um, I'm show you know, this is being put in later, now, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll know by the time this is actually scene. So, that's how you get the Ultra Brutes and all that, and, uh, there'll probably be a cut, and I'll resume, um, later on the end episode, or if this is the end of the episode, then bye. I don't know. So, <laughs> bye. Aloha, all, and welcome back to, uh, I guess Koopa Village, because this is going into the middle of the episode, I decided. So, we're back in, uh, Koopa Village, uh, because of the weird recording thing that I did, where I recorded the Ultra Boots earlier than I need to. But, right here we have cut Chuck Quizmo, so I figured I'd show this off real quick. Question, how many windows does the Goomba House in Goomba Village have? Well, this is one, and I'm not making that same mistake that I made last time he asked that question, answering, I think, three or something like that. And we get another star piece, and I actually want to show you how many star pieces we actually have because of that Koopa Koot side quest. We actually have... 35, which is quite a lot, um, and although the Flower Saver costs 25 and Peekaboo costs 10, we really don't even have that much, or nearly as much as, you know, you, you think you might have had, uh, but we have, uh, so many more, um, you know, Chuck Quizmo areas to go through, 
And, you know, we're not even close to being finished. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually, because we are going to be progressing. Oh, no, don't take the power plus off. I'm actually going to be putting on some badges uh, that I normally have. So we're going to put Zap Tap back on. And then for the time being, um, we're going to, oh, we're, we're also going to be putting on uh, Damage Dodge. And for the time being, we will stay with uh, I Spy and Speedy Spin. Because I really don't feel like uh, missing um, any, like, big areas of, uh, you know, where there might be a star piece or so. Um, but let's switch to sushi and go back over here and uh, progress to where we kind of just were um, before, you know, we were in the Koopa Village. Uh, so, um, I'm actually going to switch to Lackluster just because, uh, there is an item that I missed, uh, and I'm sure some of you guys noticed that I missed it. I noticed that I missed it personally, and I just want to see kind of what it was. Uh, it's invisible, but, uh, it's just a maple syrup, but considering we have, like, no items anymore, I don't, yeah, I really don't think we have a single other item than that. Yeah, we just have a maple syrup. You know, might as well stock up on, you know, at least one or two things. But now we're able to progress. Um, so that's what we're going to want to do. Ah, but we're going to get attacked by a Dark Koopa. Um, and I'm going to use uh, Star Storm. And I don't think that's going to take him out completely, but I, I wish it did. Hmm. Oh man, I felt like I just got a piece of hair in my mouth or something. I don't know. All right, well, it took out the middle one, uh, but, um, hmm. You know what? I'll, I'll do this because I haven't shown this up, shown this off. Yeah, so, kind of like, uh, um, kind of like, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, the, the other item, uh, Watts charge up or um, Sushi's defense up thing. It's kind of like both of those uh, where, you know, it kind of allows us to not get hurt for a while. Uh, it, it decreases the chances of getting attacked, whereas the other ones, you know, increase your attack or your defense. So it's a pretty useful thing, and I haven't shown it off yet. And I also haven't shown off Spiny Surge, so I might want to do that soon as well. But we can come over here now, and obviously there's this block here, and it has a shooting star, so awesome. Already got two items to help us along our way. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious that there's going to be some other blocks, so I'm going to see if I can just get them all. Yeah. Uh, I believe right here. Yeah. And then probably one right there. Yes, indeed. But first, we're going to check down this pipe and see where this leads us to. I believe this leads us, yes, to, uh this guy over here so really it's a quick easy access back here uh, to the entrance to chapter 7's area um if you you know you didn't know that you could go through there um but right when we open this door or like go through this little area we are actually going to be um you know uh to the new place and i actually think i i uh, forgot to do something yeah, the door is securely locked. So we're actually going to head back. I, I, I realized it as I was talking about it. But what you have to do, um, and this may be a little confusing, and you may, for, you know, you may, it doesn't really tell you what you have to do here. But we are going to be going to uh, a brand new area in a long, far off, uh, distant area. And uh, the area that we're going to be going to um, requires us to come back here and talk to Merlin because. Uh, this little guy's gonna be here, so... Oh, it's you! You came at such a good time! There's a guest waiting for you! Nice to meet you! I come from Starborn Valley! Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a still place far to the north at the very end of the Earth. Merle... Mer... Merle again, or Merle? I'm gonna say Merle. Merle, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle? I don't know, Merle doesn't kind of sound like a guy's name, but whatever. Uh, apparently it's Merlin's son, though. And, uh, apparently there's a lot of important things, and I've been saying apparently a little too much. <laughs> so now that Merle, uh, 
you know, you know that Merle is asking this of you. You can actually progress to the new area. And, uh, originally I was gonna start Chapter 7 in this particular video, but, but considering we're already up to, um, 9 minutes in this video, uh, I guess I'm just gonna kind of show off the playroom a little bit, um, to kind of show you what's kind of going on there, and this will be a little bit of a shorter episode rather than, uh, making this, um, you know, super long. Actually, um, let me get the star piece, uh, which I believe is over in this area. Uh, I believe it's, like, over here or something. Yeah, right there. Um, I'm actually going to end it off here. Um, rather than showing the playroom now, rather than doing really anything else, I think this is a... Um, going to just serve as, you know, where to get the Ultra Boots and kind of, uh, the lead up to Chapter 7. So, um, yeah, I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and, uh, I'll see you guys all next time, so see you then.